I wanted to talk today in regards to a question I get all the time. Hey, Mark, how much money can I cash in each night at the casino without being traced or tracked? The answer is you can go up to the cashier's desk with up to $500, $499 to be specific every time and they do not need your room key, they do not need your fob, they do not need your medallion net, they do not need anything, license, nothing. At $499 and below, they need nothing. So you can go up to the cash cashiers, after you get done playing craps or blackjack, poker, or whatever you play, and let's just suppose that you bought in with $3,000 and you lost 200 bucks, okay, after playing for several hours, okay? So you have $2,800. We're just talking from the very get-go. You have $2,800 in black chips that they will give you when you color up. So the pit boss, the dealers will give you $2,800 back. So you lost $200 out of your $3,000 buy-in from that night's play. So you don't lose all $3,000 every night. So many people ask me, hey, Mark, are you telling me that I'm going to lose $3,000 every night because I buy in with $3,000 every night? And if I do that for a seven-day cruise, I'm down over $20,000? Well, I'd stop gambling and not worry about free cruises if you're going to lose $20,000 on a cruise. So it's really simple. You go, you play, you have fun. Just like if you're going to Vegas or wherever else you're going to go play. Play, have fun. And if you're going to lose two or $300 in a night, some nights you're going to win two or $300 in a night. Like I said, if you always lose, then stop gambling. But here's the thing. Let's just suppose you get to the point and you're playing blackjack and you're up and down and up and down and all around. And after a couple hours, you notice you're about $300 down. Color up, cash in, and get out. So you take up to the casino cashier the $2,700 in chips because $3,000 you bought in with minus you lost $300. So you're coloring up, cashing out at the cash register with $2,700. Now, here's the deal. If you go one time and cash in with $2,700 at the cashier, you are turning in your fob, your casino cash card, your medallion net, because it is identifying who you are. And then they will record that. Now, what do they do with that information that you just uh, deposited, made a transaction of $2,700? I don't know, but I sometimes don't want them to find out so that I don't know. So it's simple, up to $500, you do not have to show who you are. You can be Joe Bob, Billy Bob, you can be anybody. It doesn't matter. They do not ask for identification. And they know identification by using your, your princess uh, medallion net or your carnival ship and sale card or any of the other casinos. So what I do is go up every time and just turn in $495. You can do $499. I just do $495 every time. It's so simple. So you just, you uh, let's say you have $2,800 uh, that you're getting ready to uh, cash in. Go back there, you know, up there five or six times. It doesn't matter if you give it to your wife, your girlfriend, your best friend. Let them go cash in for you. There's no questions ever asked. They do not know, they do not record anything up to $500. So go to $495. Then they're going to give you $495 in $100 bills. Go back again with $495. They're giving you another $495 in $100 bills. Keep going back. Like I said, have your spouse do the same thing. Okay. 
there is no recording of that money that you turned in, period. The only place that you are recorded is when you buy in the chips and the buy-in at the craps table or blackjack table for $3,000. If that's the number you pick, you may pick 4,000, you may pick 5,000, you may only pick 1,000. It doesn't matter. Like I've told you before, just look at my other videos and depending on how good you want to get comped and rated is based on how much you buy in, how much you play, what's your average bet, and how long you play there. So, and being nice to the host and hostess, pit boss, dealers, and the rest of the players. Because they will grade you, the pit boss grades you, and rates you. But anyhow, that's a different video. But this one here is, when you go up to cash in for the night, every time cash in all of your chips, but you may have to make five or six trips up to the cashier after you color up don't put in more than $500. And if you don't believe me about that, try it. Because 100%, I uh, once in a while I'll have like $510 because my addition, multiplication, whatever, arithmetic doesn't work right that night. And I will go up with $510 and they'll say, hey Mark, you know the drill. Can I have your ship and, ship and sale card? Can I have your fob can i have your medallion then and i say you know what i forgot give me 25 give me that 25 dollars chip back and then all of a sudden i'm at 485 dollars that i'm uh, turning in so then they don't need any identification this is so crucial to remember because like i said if you want big brother following you that's fantastic i don't know what they do with knowing how much you give each night to cash in with but all i can tell you is under 500 dollars, you have need no identification period so that is the truth and so till then please subscribe to my channel and uh you all have a really good day